Okay, it's Reaper again. So let's talk about Reaper. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. I'm Vlad from Synaptic Schism, and uh, today we have a video about Reaper. So what uh, happened was that last week I started to have some issues with performance, which I assumed were related with Studio One, which is the DAW that I've been using for the last couple of years. And I found out that that, that wasn't the case. It wasn't because of Studio One. However, in the process of trying to find a new DAW, I ended up getting back and trying to see how Reaper was doing. And I'm, I'm quite happy with what I saw. So I, I want to share with you basically what, what I did. This is a slightly costumized version of, of Reaper, apart from, from the theme, there, which is obvious that the theme is installed here. You can actually see this absolutely gorgeous mixer view but w with that theme i also created by my template so all of these colored uh, tracks will be working as folders and each one of them so drums bass guitars are then routing directly to bands and then strings brass woods to orchestra and so on and all of these then are child of the mix bus which is where the final mixing, bussing thing is going to happen. But the whole idea here is, for instance, if I create a contact instrument here and I drag it, for instance, to drums, this track is ready and prepared to be used as a drum track, if that makes sense. That's, that's the whole point. That's how my workflow works both here and this was true already in Studio One. I also created this bottom part here. This is just for streaming, so for what you are watching right now. This takes a mix from the mix bus and also the microphone, and it mixes to send it to OBS. Other things that I did was to take care of some of the contextual menus. This one only has like the bass instruments that, that I use. If I keep working with Reaper, then <laughs> contextual menus are going to be a big topic. I also took care of everything that was related with having access to the kind of stuff that I want to have quick access to, like obviously the effects browser, the media explorer, performance toolbar, or the, all the coloring good things. But also, and it's currently not here, and this is the big thing for me, it's the thing that might actually go wrong, which is handling articulation. So this is Articulate, which is the community created script that allows to the management of articulation key switches. I, I was not happy with how Reaper or Rearticulate did this. If you ever did this with Studio One, it's it's a different level. The way that Studio One has this setup is just gorgeous and amazing. From what I saw, there are many new versions of Rearticulate, but the base thing is the same. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work. But the, the impressions that I've got so far is that workflow wise, which is the strong point for Studio One, I didn't feel that at this point in time with the tools and the level of customization that Reaper allows me, I didn't feel that there's any loss in terms of workflow. In terms of performance, I will be creating the divide, my next track directly on Reaper, and I will be sharing with you the, the work and the experience. So workflow, I don't think it will be an issue. Performance, I don't think that we, it will be an issue. Articulation key switching, I cannot explain how important managing that well is to me. We'll see how it goes, but overall the look and feel costume actions that I created, the keyboard shortcuts that I already created. You can see it now, but I created some pretty cool stuff. Let me open a thing here. So for instance, for instance, for instance, this is the normal keyboard and this is a different view specifically for drums. And you can say, oh, but that's pretty simple stuff. Yes, but it needs to be, it can be taken care of in order for me to be happy creating music. I need all of this stuff set up so that I don't need to worry about details. I can just add instruments and do my thing. So what will happen next is that 
I will recreate the divide here, continue working on it in Reaper, and I'll be sharing with everyone both the development of the divide and at the same time my impressions in returning to Reaper and see if I enjoy the workflow, if performance is okay, if articulations is fine, because in terms of uh, overall performance and um, uh, costumability and cost, we know that Reaper is, is quite ahead. So I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. Until then, bye bye.